What's up, guys? It's your boy, Dolt Randy, back at it again with another F1 video. As we are going to start the second half of the season today. As we're going to go to the Hungarian Grand Prix. Our last race was in Silverstone, and it was extremely disappointing to say the least. Just a kick in the teeth, if you will. And hopefully we would not have something like that again. Um... First things first, I will just come out and say this now. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but we did change the paint design of the livery. We got it basically exactly how we had it, but there was a glitch where basically the, the TV pods were covered in that basic pattern, and I just had I just had to create a whole new and we. It's not that big of a difference. The only thing that's that is different is that the paint is glossier. And it actually looks better like that to be frank, because they kind of it the black and the yellow and the the black, yellow, and white that sticks out. I kinda dig it, but let's get into this. Um We got some money in the bank. We got some money in the bank, if you will. We're gonna spend it on our personnel. Cause it seems like we ain't got much. Oh, we're gonna spend it on marketing. Marketing's next. We're gonna focus on the driving first. And what we're gonna do is pit stops. We gotta, we're gonna upgrade our pit stops. And we're gonna upgrade our second driver's race craft, awareness, and focus. Theo Portier over here. And yeah, so that's gonna be that. Um, let's do our activities real quick. Um, we'll do that. We'll do that. And that's it. We do have a, I don't think I got O&D yet. There's a pretty big one about to come in. And I hope this comes through. Please. The Halo, I would, we need the Halo. We had a major issue on the production line earlier this week. So the entire development package for the weekend has failed. Any redevelopments will need to be ordered from the R&D screen. Huh. And that sucks. The freaking Halo. Just do it. We gotta get it done. Man, for a trek like Hungary, we picked a bad time for that to happen. Alright. It is what it is. Can go back now. Right? Hmm. I mean, I'm probably gonna say that was bad, but that's. that was not needed, I'll say that. Hmm. I don't know what to do for the other one. Let's we'll just leave it. Hmm. <sighs> Alright. Whatever. Let's just go to the Hungarian ring. I'm afraid we've dropped to P22. P22. We have dropped the P22 in qualifying heel. Um, but I tell ya, I think this can be this can be something. This can absolutely be something. Kind of similar to what we had at the Red Bull Ring a couple, a couple races ago, when I mean, let's we we have had back to back starts in the top half of the field. As here we go, from the Hungar from the Hungar the Hungarian Grand Prix. But we we have pace. We just have to put it all together. And just throw it in and just hope it sticks. But I hope we have something here. As we got a good sector one. 
Going into this little rhythm section we have... Clip it, but we're still good. We're still kicking. I am killing the corpse right now, but... You have to... Into the grass. Sector 2 is... Fine. Now we just gotta finish it. Just a couple more corners to go. And now just gotta get it across the line. Here we go. Real good. That felt really good. Peace it! Peace it! It's race day in Budapest as we get ready for another round of Formula One action. We're not expecting too many retirements at this circuit. There are plenty of current and former drivers with flawless finish rates here. In particular, Ralph Schumacher, who made it across the line in all 10 of his Hungarian Grand Prix starts. 14 corners then for our drivers to navigate at the 2.7 mile Hungaro ring today. It's six lefts and eight rights around a lap here with average speeds in the region of 120 miles per hour. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Oh, it's time to the... take a look at our starting grid for today's Yeah, race. let's look at this grid, shall we? Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start yeah, He sure did. And the smooth operator Carlos <laughs> The smooth operator P2. It's Moving about time he had some. We have Yeah. Leclerc, Russell, uh. Perez, Oscar Piastri, mm. Norris, the governor. Oh. Fernando Alonso, Alvin, Magnuson, Sonoda, Stroll, Ocon, Man. Ricardo, Hulkenberg, Gasly, mm. Bottas, Sargent, mm. Theo Porsche, and Joe Guan Yu. It's almost hey, we're not last. To go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. And joining me in the commentary box today with the best view on what is about to unfold and some strong views on the action we're about to see, Naomi Shiv. I know what we've got to do before the start of today's race, but what about our driver? What do the final hours look like for them? Well, every driver certainly has their own way of preparing themselves before a race. But I can tell you that pre-race rituals are a real thing. When I was in go-karting, I used to touch every wheel in a specific sequence before I got into the cart. And then I stepped up to cars and had a specific set of fireproof base layers just for race day. So watch the drivers when they're on the grid. Some may be the and P18 and, and Alpine. Some may be up to other things that they do. But these little things really help their minds get ready for the race. I, I want to see the strategy. Right, mate, I know it's hot in that cockpit, believe me, but your tyres are even hotter than that. You've got to work really hard today to keep them cool, otherwise we're going to suffer with our performance. Indeed. So, that's fine. Um, yeah. Oh, this rate. Oh boy. Look in the. Look around the three coolest mark of the streets. We might have rain. That'd be interesting. But yeah, there was no way he was gonna put soft tires on this cool. But P eight. How about them apples? Nets to Lando and Hamilton? I didn't get used to this. Okay, so our system checks are good. We need to stay in formation and start bringing the car up to temperature, please. Get some load into the tires and work the brakes. We want them nice and warm by the end of this lap. Will do. I mean, this does match our career best starting spot from the Red Bull ring. We all know what happened at the Red Bull Ring, so hopefully we won't be doing that on the start of this race. I know we don't have... We think we might see some rain, ETA, about 15 minutes. Oh boy! <laughs> that was, that's not the three quarters mark of this race. So this might be a sprint. Oh, I... I don't know, Chief. This is going to come down. This is going to be interesting. To, but I will say. I think 
Now, we was robbed. I would have loved to have known what would have happened at the Red Bull ring. If we didn't wreck on lap one, I would have loved to have known. Heal? I mean, I feel like this is fate. This is divine fate by the F1 gods. Giving me a second chance at resurrecting history, Heal. Because I think we can get points today. Now, we have to drive a really great race today. But I do think we can get points in this number 7 Dortmund Autosport Cole. But man, it's going to take a lot. Here we go. Going into the gates. Okay, incredible parking there. Nice one. That's going to give you the edge if you can get good launch. Here we go. Everyone's buckling in. We got to get a good start. Two, three, four, five. Red lights and away we go from the Hungary ring. We get a really good start. I'm going on the outside. We're going to pass Piastri. Or all we? What's up? Where are we? There was Piastri. Oh, fuck. Didn't mean to hit that. Are we good though? We good? Oh, we're good. That was literally the one part of the wing you can hit someone at. And we didn't get a pedal either. And then I'm stuck. Okay. Randall, just Randall, Randall, Rand, just calm down. Randall, you need to calm the fuck down. That could have been a disaster. We just need to, we need to, okay. <sighs> let's just drive. Randall, let's just drive. We all getting these t That's a decent start. Good job. Yeah, that could have been a lot worse and a lot better at the same time, pal. A lot worse and a lot better at the same time. And I don't like the gap. That is... DRS is being enabled this lap. We can oh. use DRS when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. I don't like that either. Because DRS is coming up right here. And that means Alonso is going to try to get a run. Not on this set of corners, but the next one. But he ain't gonna do anything. Now we just need to drive. That's all we need to do is just fucking drive. A bit of understeer when trailing the car ahead. They're gonna be giving off dirty air, which is gonna affect our tires. So try to get past. We got, yeah. Fernando is absolutely cooking us up, and I like that. But we're kind of driving away, just a smidge. Uh, like, I, I want a gap. Piastri is kind of pulling away from us. Which also ain't good. But this is where they're going to pass. Into this DOS straight. Can Fernando get up there? I don't think he is. He's gonna try, but he ain't, oh, he threw that, he throws it in there. Still side by side, still side by side, still side by side. Not clear, but still not clear. And he had to, he finally has to left. That's just good solid racing right there. Terrible. The get the field is condensed. Low key kind of feels like I'm holding up the field. But 
But here we go again. Now this time we gotta hold for everything we got. Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 6.3 seconds. Fernando's gonna get... But I'm gonna throw it in and we'll... Oh, how about that move? How about that for your boy? And we hold on to him. But... We're doing all right, I think. Problem is... Yeah, the tires are already kind of cut. Yeah, this feels like if, if we can just make it to the horde tires, I think we're gonna have a chance. With that said, it's gonna be almost impossible! As we almost just send ourselves spinning. It took us to lap four, but we finally hit the apex in that corner. And here comes Fernando again. But we get a pretty decent exit, okay, but... Expect to see some rain about 10 to 15 minutes from now. We have rain in 10 to 15. Oh, I tried to gas it up and it wouldn't do it. And there goes Fernando. I just tried to gas it up and it wouldn't go. Dang it. So there was P8. Yeah, like, dog, this is bad. I am holding up the field. How the fuck did I save that? How did I actually save that? I don't have a good feeling about this anymore. It feels like I'm just holding up the field. This is literally what it feels. I feel like I'm just holding up the field. Here comes Lewis. Oh, I stomp him! Alright. But that's already on lap six. Like, dog. You know, it's going to be, it's going to be, I'm either going to wheel this or this is going to go straight into the fence and there's no in between because I am driving the wheels off this fucking thing. And that is something that, I mean, over these full 13 races of Dortmund Autosport, I have noticed, and it's that the durability of the tiles, the brakes, the ports, all that stuff, it is not good. Because <laughs> I mean, I feel like when, I feel like, like right now, I should not be losing this much grip on coming to lap number seven. Or finishing lap six, coming to seven? Hamilton! Where do you think you're going, buddy? But we are going to stay ahead. But that's the thing. It's like, you know... I feel like my... Don't you try it. And K-Mag is going to get underneath Hamilton for P10. Who would have thought of that? But like I was saying, I feel like I shouldn't be having this much whale on my stuff this early in the race.
But yeah, I'm just I'm I'm driving the wheels off this fucking thing. Trying to keep all of them ahead. That's what we're trying to do. As now we're gonna have Magnuson. And here we go. Oh, they have fallen off already, pal. I don't know what you're watching. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Oh, and I just cut him off. Cut off K Mag. But I'm telling you, on the horde tiles, I feel like we're going to be okay. But meat, I'm telling you, it's mediums. Wheels. I am driving. This is a drive at the moment. A drive. As it feels like every lap, I'm on, I am on it. And the sad thing is, Alonso is already up, up to 8 seconds ahead of us, which is bad. But then again, in a race it's not about who's... Not necessarily who's the best... Who has the best ports and the best engine, it's about who's the best racer. And here we go, again. K-Mag. And we're just gonna... Here comes a lot. Oh, I'm getting fucking split. As yes, yeah, we're gonna hold him off again. And it looks like Hamilton is gonna go back underneath Mag. Oh, they're side by side. They're gonna have to resolve that. As look at this, look at the sky all of a sudden. As I just hop. That was a bad two and three corners, but we get it done. We we get it was off though. I will say. Oh my God! Bless America, son. Okay. Let's calm down a little bit, cause that was nuts. I don't really care about that anymore, pal. Holy shnikes. That was super sketchy. Super sketchy. As we're gonna hold off Hamilton, I will say that I think this is the first time in a race after 10 lap, working on double digit laps, that we are in the points and it's not off, not off anything. But if this rain's gonna come, it's gonna need to come soon, dog. Because I mean. Hey, that is literally perfect timing for that transmission. But, sure, you can see the clouds around us. It is, it is getting dork quickly in in hungry teammate is in teammate behind 4.1 seconds teammate oh don't you go three freaking wide pal k max going to get around us
You know what? I don't mind that. See, I, I am so five at this moment. Oh, I did. No. Come on, you can win that place back. Yeah, because I just did power. And I can't put the power down. And he has the pace. We got a caution on the track. And it's Pacheco. Sergio Perez is out of the session. Is that going to bring out a safety call? I don't think so. We do have a caution. It is for check. It is for the Red okay, Bull. Yep, there is Sorgio in the grass, and no safety calls. I was kind of hoping. I, I mean, I don't know. I was low key kind of hoping and what and what. Green! Holy shit! Okay, Randy, Randy, don't die. We're still in the points. Somehow, some way, don't you die on me now. <laughs> but I was fully prepared to about to go to the pits. And now I'm going to have Ocon. We're approaching the pit window now, and you're going to be on hards next time. Okay, gap to the car in front. Two point five seconds. Okay, be careful with the front wing. You've taken some minor damage. Well, and that is that, probably. Damn it. Hi, hi, hi. Well, it was either get rich or die trying, and well, we died. He was under me. He was under me. And if he did it, if I didn't, if I didn't fight, he was gone. And I just completely, okay. I just completely choked that. But now we're pitting that slap. But I like the effort. Because I, I think he would have been under me. It would have been bad. But that's I. Right. Um Oh, that's Rain Bullet. Oh, was that the TV? That is Rain, okay. Okay, take it easy on the car. We can't sustain this level of damage. 
And there was our teammate, Portier. In the he's uh, wait he went to mediums. He pitted for fresh mediums, bitch. Oh brother. But see now, dilemma. I've got a dilemma now. Okay, the pit window's open, so let's box this lap. Box this lap. Oh yeah, we're boxing, but the pro question is, as we're gonna battle our teammate and let him go. Um, bad question is, what's it going to do? Is it going to... Take care, our data is indicating high levels of tire wear at this stage. I don't think I'm going to, I don't think I have a choice. Yeah, I don't think I have a choice, friend. I think I have to go out in the hole with tiles. Be careful on those slicks. These conditions are making the line a bit greasy, but we're still nowhere near the changeover point. Yeah, we ain't gonna be near the changeover point either, pal. Oh, <sighs> fudge. Box this lap. Keep an eye on your distance to the speed limit line as you approach and make sure... Oh, I don't... Speed. See, here's the problem, though. I don't want to have to make another pit stop. I'm going to stay out again. If it blows, it blows. I want to see how far this is going to go. Weather report. Alright, rather we'll pull it. Rather we'll... He ain't gonna hear me, what's the point? I will say, it's getting to that point where it's not even gonna matter because... I didn't realize that gap, I am slow. Yeah, I'm slow, boys. I'm just gonna pit for hard tires, I shouldn't have done this. What's the damage? It's still not a perfect situation, but I don't think we've got cause to move on to a different tire yet. Okay, gap to the car ahead, 11.2 seconds. Well, you know what? Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Just put it on the freaking hole tile. Stop faster than we were expecting. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. Oh, and I okay. You know what? Okay, so all of our tire pressure data is currently reading zero. Assuming they still look inflated to you, we're gonna guess that it's just a bad sensor. Shouldn't be anything to worry about. Joy. Yeah, I should have. Went with the freaking. Damn it. Can this just go from bad to worse? Control 
I mean, I, I in hindsight, I probably should have just let. I should have. You should overtake Buffalo more. It's time to utilize some of this energy. Come on. I should have probably just let Strogol go. This is just bad driving now. That's all this is. This is just bad driving. Okay, I think it might just be about time to come and change these tires. Of course it is. Of course it is. Ten minutes left of this rain, then we think it's going to dry up. Ten minutes. Okay, here's the gap that we're trailing the car ahead by. 15.3 seconds. Ten minutes of rain, huh? Well, that would imply... Oh, Randy, what do I do? Oh, I'm not going to hit him. So I think what I need to do, I don't think I need to come back in and, well, there goes the D, well, I still, I'm going to have DRS, but last lap. Okay, the stewards have now disabled DRS. DRS is now disabled. Of course they do. Of course they disable it when I have it. So, the question is going to be, Question's gonna be Fudge. You know I would like to think Well at least I would have had to have pit, or the tiles would have been cut. Teammate, coming in for his stop now. teammate is back in the pits. And everyone's coming in for intermediate tiles. Yeah, my tires would have blown by then. I don't know how these people can go all this time. So I would have been screwed either way. Cars are coming in for inters. It's touch and go, but could be worth a risk. We'll be ready for it if you want a box. We got a caution. That's probably we're gonna pass stroll. But I think it was for Ricardo. And I think he's gotten it squared away now. Oh, it's not even going to meddle. I don't think it's even going to meddle. Yeah, I'm cooked. Because those rusts are behind me. Only way I can see this... No, I don't think it's going to do anything. I know I got a corner cut, pedally. Yeah, this ain't... Nope. This ain't worth it. I gotta just come down. Blue flag, blue flag. This ain't gonna work. Just take the L and move on. Because this ain't working. So, oh, that's what have sucked. <sighs> you know,
This sucks. Right, let's go. Come on. Perfect job from you and the crew there, mate. We're delighted with that. OK, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross onto the track. This sucks. But I don't think I, I don't think anything would have mattered. I don't think nothing would have changed. Cause I would have been in. So I was in. Say for some reason, eh, be quiet. I would have pitted. I would have pitted. Probably. Yeah, I would have lost time. But what sucks is, and I'm pretty sure this is going to show, but I am fast in the rain. I think. But I've got nothing to show for it now. A P8 starting spot. We we held it together in P10 by duct tape and pins for what felt like 10,000 laps. Oh, no, it was. Okay, no issues with tire wear for now. Keep taking care of them. It was more than that, wasn't it? It was like. Oh, I don't know. It was full of significant amount of time. I don't know. Freaking F1. And now I'm... I, oh, there's the sign that I just took out. You know... And it said this rain ain't gonna last the whole race, ain't it? So it is what it is, really. <sighs> well, freaking. So, I mean, yeah, this is kind of depressing that we're not even... We're keeping up. I'm comparing myself to the top two. Or I'm comparing myself to Soldier and Joe. And it turns out we're about even. Which kind of sucks. Okay, so we got to the car ahead. 78.5 seconds. Yeah, so actually getting away from me. As we're completing lap 23. But technically lap 24 for the rest of the field. But, you know. It happens. And it's not gonna be a safety call either. Probably not at least. Not the way you want to sort the second half of the season. But Dortmund, I will say, post-race, 
Sanctuary. It looks like he's P17. Uh, yeah, he's, he's ahead of Soldier and Chow. So that's cool. But still, this is just a joke. So my failed pit stop now on the fresh soft tiles. <sighs> Just put me in between. Okay, off we go, back in 
into the race. Don't. Perfect job on the turn in there, mate. Looks like a nice stop time. We're happy with that one. Look, he's going to put me in between that fucking gap. You know what? Heal. You know what? Fuck it. No, I'm not even gonna fuck. Just go. It's not even fucking worth it at this point. What's the bloody point? In a race that sorted out with sunshine, and then it. That rain! That's gonna kill me. That's gonna be. Yes, we're gonna go for the fastest slap heel. And I highly assume we have a chance at it. Even if the track is still might be a little damp. But you just gotta ask the question, what if? Now I know I, we probably wasn't gonna get I mean I know I was optimistic, but the 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 lack of pace because like I said, I felt like I was holding up the field. Yeah, I felt like I was completely holding up the field. And that sucks, right? Yeah, but the problem is... My worn-out tires probably would have done me... I just can't think of another way that it wasn't going to go. Because it was probably going to be like this. No, I mean, not to this extent, but it was probably going to be bad. As we went a 118. You're running low on ERS. Reminder that you can play around with ERS modes in the MFD, or lift sometimes and ease onto the brake pedal for some manual recharge. Pal, there's two laps to go in this race. Shush. I don't know where we would have been, but I would have liked to have think we would have been in this hunt somewhat. Because like I said back then, if I don't make a- if I don't go down and try to protect myself, Stroll is probably gone. And I don't even have a chance at points at that point. Because if I would have pitted right there, I would have gone about five or six laps before Intermediates wore the- wore the plan. And I would have lost time. As we're coming to the last lap of the race for me. One lap to go. See if I could have one bank. It just But I will say, I do think there's promise for us. As Max wins. Wow. He was losing the entire I don't know what happened, but that is wild. But it just shows our program. We got one lap speed. That's us. We are one lap. We are the one lap team. Qualifying is great, but then race pace, it just falls off the fucking face of the earth. Falls off the face of the fucking earth. It sucks. But I got nothing for you. And 
we do have work to do. I mean, this is just this. I will say we are much better off than where we were. At but like at the begin first couple races of the season, we were we were so far off. The gap is closing. We're still not where we need to be. I still think we can get points. But yeah, but this is a joke. We're getting closer and closer. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in part Fermi. P21. After the first third of the race, we were in the points. And then it just went to hell. It's another victory and a champion's performance from Max. Oh yeah, Max Verstappen won. We get it. Just give me through it. And with that, we wrap up um, motorsport action. But we weren't even close to the fast up, slap. Be sure to join us when we come back. Dang, we weren't even close to the fastest lap. It is what it is. It is what it is. But. Yeah. I We just need better speed in a race. Not just. We got the one lap thing under the lock and the key. I suggest we start looking for opportunities to spend. I still don't think we need a rival. I still don't think we have a rival. Because we're that full back. Because we're so... We're not even... We're still that not... We're still not close enough. Thanks for stepping in and helping handle that. But... It is what it is. Um... Standings... Matt's pulled away on on Leclerc and Lando in that race. And because of Perez's DNF, Ferrari is now in first place. How about that? That's crazy, bro. And we still don't have a point. But I promise, it's, co it's coming at some point, I hope and pray. But that's all I got. That's all I got. Yeah. Um. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. As you can see, the next race is Belgium. The Belgian Grand Prix, which... I don't know how that's going to go. But we'll see. Y'all have a good one. And peace out, guys.